help him square to the go. Consider the same situation as before, but the defenders are too tall for you to throw over. How do you get the ball to your man? Step around the defense and make a hook bounce pass. When your teammate is cutting towards the wing to get open and his defender's arm is in the passing lane, you need to look for your teammate to make a back door cut. But how do you deliver the ball? Throw a one-hand bounce pass under your defender's hand and aim just behind the back foot of the other defender. The bounce slows down the pass a little bit, making it easier for your teammate to catch. Usually, you know, when they're overplaying, that's usually cause for a back door. So, you know, you usually look around for somebody else to pop up, you know, get a high pass and mm -hmm. let them cut back door. And then maybe you work off, off after that, you know, so usually the main thing, like when they, they're overplaying is back door cut. What if you're being pressured and you spot an open teammate on the other side of the floor? You have to get the ball over your defender, over the rest of the defenders in the middle of the lane, and you have to get it there fast and with accuracy so that he can catch and shoot before the help defense recovers. That's a lot to ask. How do you do it? With both hands on the ball, use an across-the-face skip. Come off of the ground and release the ball as your feet clear the ground. Timing your release with your feet coming off the ground will give you extra power and make for a quicker pass. Using both hands will increase your accuracy. If the defender is not pressuring you like he was in the previous situation, is there an easier pass to make? Absolutely. Square to your target and use a two hand above the head pass. You can move the defense with a pass fake providing extra time for your teammate to get a shot off. When no defenders are pressuring you and you're looking for a safe way to catch a pass and quickly swing the ball around the perimeter, what pass do you use? Make the two-handed chest pass. It's the fastest and safest way to advance the ball to your teammate. Uh, Mike, I know that uh, passing opportunities are created when uh, you dribble penetrate, and I just wanted to hear your thoughts on that. I think my, um, the best as aspect of my game is getting other people involved. You know, I'd rather see somebody make a shot you know, off of my pass than have me score myself. So um, that's what I try to do. I try to break the defense down, because once you get in the key and break down the defense, the first thing the other defensive players are going to do is turn their head and see what's going on. So, you know, once you get in there and they think you're going to shoot, their heads go up, you know, kind of relax a little bit, wait for the rebound. And that's when the other people open up on the perimeter. Mm. So when you're going, when you're penetrating, you're penetrating legitimately to score yeah. first. To, I just, you know. I mean, a lot of it is reading the defense. You know what I mean? If a big guy comes over, that means that his man is probably open unless they have good rotation, and that means the outside guy's open. So, you know, you just got to go up and, and I think my eyes are quick enough to see what's going on and, you know, just read, read what the defense is giving me. Are, are you aware of different rotations uh, by different teams? I know that some teams have different rotating defensive patterns, you know, mm -hmm. but they know they've got to stop you in penetration, and, and you're aware where the help's going to come from, and they have guys rotating. Are, are, are... A, lot, a lot of times... You wouldn't think, but in the pros, a lot of people miss assignments. You know, uh, say a big man comes over to stop me from penetrating, one of the guys has to rotate down to the big guy. Usually, sometimes they don't, so that'll leave the big guy open. Mm -hmm. But if they do, that means his man's open. So if they went down to the big man, the guy that came down is open unless they, you know, they have a full rotation. And so you're reading that all in just kind of an instant. Yeah. An east-west dribble penetration will not necessarily draw help defenders. But if your penetration is an honest attempt to score, you will draw a perimeter defender to yourself. 
How will you hit your open teammate? Use the air flick and make your pass accurate by aiming for his numbers. You got to make them, um, you got to make the defense think you're going to shoot it. And like I say, once they see that you're going to shoot and the ball is about to right, the everybody usually relaxes to try to get a little jump on the rebound. And then once you do that, and then they relax and try to, they turn, you know, look around for the man to box out or something, that's when you hit the guy mm. and then it's a, you know, a layup or a jump shot on the perimeter. Excellent. If your dribble penetration leads you into heavy traffic, remember there's a hole behind you, a spot to throw back to if a teammate will fill it. Be strong with the ball to avoid getting stripped and reverse pivot to seal the help defender from recovering. What pass do you use to hit the shooter? Your hands are already in position to utilize the two-hand chest pass to throw back where you came from. It's secure, accurate, and quick. Let's say you penetrate, but your defender is still on your side and your path to the goal is stopped by a shot blocker. You see an open teammate against the grain of your drive, but the defender on your side prevents a quick air flick. What do you do? Get off of the ground, turn in the air, and deliver an against-the-grain pass. This will test the core strength of your body. When you penetrate and draw a defender from a post player, what's the best pass to choose with the least chance of being deflected? Use the one-hand bounce pass. When you're in the lane, there are too many hands at shoulder height to pass in the air. And keep your eyes on the go so that you don't telegraph the pass. Be aware of other help defenders rotating down. They're coming from behind you, looking to rotate into the passing lane. And that's another reason to throw a bounce pass. It's harder to deflect. You've penetrated and attracted a shot blocker who is body to body with you. There's no space to bring the ball across your body and pass to your open teammate. What can you do? You have to go around your back. Let's pretend the same situation occurs, but you don't completely beat your man and he's still on your side, preventing the behind the back pass. The defender's hands are up in order to block your shot. What's left in your arsenal? Use the wraparound pass. Again, pass the ball where his hands are not. If you penetrate along the baseline with a teammate at the low post, you're going to draw his defender who's a threat to block your shot or take the charge. Your teammate should be stepping up the lane line to create some space so that his defender can't play both of you. You have to pass over the post defender without letting your man deflect the pass. So how do you get the ball to your post man? Use a sky hook pass. It's easy for post men to catch and shoot because it's soft and caught up high. What factors do you consider uh, make a, a successful feed to the post? What? <clears throat> Throw it away from the defender. You know, the main thing is it works both ways. You know, you got to make a good pass away from the defender. And at the same time, the big man has to keep the defender away from getting the ball. You know? How much of that is knowing your center, knowing the guy in the post? Um, usually, they usually they hold them off. You know, they hold them off here and throw it here. You, it doesn't even really have to be like a hard pass. Mm -hmm. I mean, it might even be off the block a little bit to where it's far away enough mm -hmm. from the defender to where he could catch it and maybe back him down a little bit, then make his move. Let's pretend you're feeding the low post, and the post defender has been caught directly behind him, an opening that won't last for long. What's the quickest way to get the ball to the post before that window closes? The air flick is your answer. 
Thank them.